good morning guys welcome back to my channel I don't know why I say good morning because I'm saying good morning because I'm looking at the clock and it's 7:20. but um, so in today's little car vlog video I wanted to tell you guys some five easy tips for you guys to lose weight these tips definitely helped me lose weight um, just a little backstory I started to lose weight at, um, at on January 8th, 2018. So it's been about a year and a half now. Um, I am officially 61 pounds down. So yeah, that's just a little backstory. So these are the five things that really helped me um, lose weight. So the first thing that I think is the most, 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 most important thing is consistency there's always going to be a time where you don't want to work out there's going to be a time where you just want to eat garbage there's going to be a time where you just want to be lazy and do nothing but if you're really passionate about losing weight you have to be consistent because if you're not and you just work out a, one day for 10 minutes a week it's the weight's not going to come off it's not just going to come off in a month not going to come off in a week it may need not even come off in two months to three months um, it's extremely discouraging but you have to stick with it and trust the process so consistency is definitely my number one number two um, is definitely going to be the next important which is a caloric de deficit and if you don't know what that means that just means you have to have fewer calories in your diet than you had before so if you um, we're eating say 2,000 calories a day or probably more than that because you're gaining weight and you're overweight if you're watching this video um, then you need to cut that um, if you even just Google you can just use Google to see how many calories women and men should be eating to lose weight um, it's actually nothing crazy it's totally doable um, for women, I believe it's 1,500 calories a day to lose one pound per week. Um, now, you may be thinking that 1,500 calories is not a lot. Yes, that is correct. However, if you eat very healthy whole foods um, throughout the day, you can eat more and still lose weight because they're going to be a very low calorie food. Um, so you, it, there's no starving yourself. There's no, you know, not eating at all. There's no just eating rice cakes. Like, no, there are foods out there that you can eat that are extremely healthy, but very dense, keep you full and to lose weight. Um, for example, a lot of greens can do that. Um, chicken, salmon, any fish, um, any clean carb, like, uh, brown rice, white rice, anything like that um, are good things uh, you can do to lose weight. Um, number three is going to be, I'm going to say discipline. I don't really like the word motivation because there's things in life that do not motivate me at all to do anything and that doesn't get me to do it. I physically have to tell myself, you need to do this and that's it. Like I don't give myself a choice. I don't give myself time to think about it. I don't give myself excuses constantly like no we're just getting up this is the time where we're working out this is the time where we're eating healthy and that's it it is a harsh reality it is an extreme harsh reality and this is 100% a lifestyle change I'm being 110% real because I was not real with myself when I first started I thought that I could just exercise lightly still eat what I wanted and did nothing basically the weight didn't come off so I thought the process didn't work and once I got really real with myself and I was about 200 pounds I was like all right we need to just stop lying we need to get off the couch we need to just do it and be done with it because once the weight comes off maintaining it is a lot easier than losing it so that is also a goal that I can tell you guys to set for yourselves is that set a goal to just lose it and be done with it once you lose it maintaining it is a lot easier maintaining it yes is hard because you can't you know overindulge in those sweets or the cookies or anything like that but it's still easier to do than to lose the weight so 
discipline is definitely another one. The next one is definitely going to be exercise. Exercise is a huge one to me, uh, mainly because everyone's goal is to lose weight quickly. And if you want to lose weight quickly, you have to exercise. Yes, you will lose weight if you just stick to your caloric deficit diet. Um, you will lose weight. However, if you are not moving, it is not going to come off nearly as fast. And usually that's what people want. They want instant results. Um, so what you need to do is just exercise. Take some time to really get into the exercise. I started jogging um, six months in. Um, but first, I just started walking. Just start taking a walk. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just do some cardio. Do some speed walking. Um, go long distance walking. Things like that. Start counting your steps. People should be getting 10,000 steps a day to lose one pound per week. And 10,000 steps is the minimum without exercise. So you can imagine how much you're not really doing um, in a day. So. I was like, holy crap, so really it should be kind of almost double that um, per day. But start off with like, you know, three days a week, start walking, start speed walking, and then build yourself up. If you're walking for 20 minutes and then you get to the point where like, eh, I think I can handle a little bit more, keep it at that 20 minutes, but five of those minutes, try to jog. See how long you can last and just keep building yourself up. But exercise is definitely a perk if you're looking to lose your weight quickly. Um, the last and final step, which is also extremely important, it is last but not least, you have to cut out the crap. You have to cut out the McDonald's. You have to cut out the Subway. You have to cut out the Wendy's, the fast food, the restaurant food, the sweets, the ice cream, the chips. You gotta cut it out. Um, you don't have to cut it out completely, but you drastically need to cut it. If you think about it, yes, these are all things you enjoy. They're, they're all things you love to eat that make you feel good, they make you happy. However, they only make you happy in the moment while you're eating them. That's one thing I learned with my food addiction is that I'm only happy in the time that I'm eating them. And then because I lost so much weight, I feel extremely guilty afterwards. It's really not worth it. We do not need the crap to live. We don't at all. You don't need ice cream to live. You do not need chips to live. These are all, I don't even know how to say it. They're all just, let's call them happy foods. They're all just happy, fun foods that are not good for you at all. They make you tired, they make you fatigued, they can cause joint pain, everything under the sun. Um, so you do not need the garbage. There's a lot of substitutes you can do. You can have, um, if you want something salty, salty, an example would be avocado toast. Make some toast, put avocado on it, put a little salt, a little salt on top of the avocado and maybe with a tomato and there is your salt right there. That will definitely kill it and it may even fill you up more than that bag of chips did. And the easiest one for the sweets is to just eat fruit. Fruit is so sweet. All you guys know about fruit. And you know, I'm not saying to cut these things out completely, but I am saying to cut them out for the time being if you're really trying to lose weight and you are really serious about it. Um, the not whole food, the processed food is not worth it. It'll keep you from your goals and you don't want anything standing in the way of your goals. So I hope you guys took something from this video. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you guys want any more tips and tricks on how to lose weight, um, I can talk about some easy at home exercises you guys can do. I did do a video on that a little while back. Um, I'll probably link that in the description box. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.